I hope I will not make you fall asleep. I promise that. But I prepare about 120 slides. No, oh. just, just kidding. This morning, thank you very much for the event organizers because this morning I had my first time yoga. Then they teach us how to stand properly. Now I'm doing it. Yeah. <laughs> Every time you stand, just put like this and then you get very firm. Thank you. Okay, in the next slides, I will be telling you about what we have, but it's more about what customers need and the problems they have and how we can solve it. My name is Ikra. Okay, some Japanese can call me Iker. The German call me Ikra. Mm -hmm. you know? um, it's okay. I'm the VP of the RPX. It's a 34 years company in Indonesia. And I will be happy because today I bring to my senior sales managers to be with me because they are going to be doing the day to day, not me. And I'm just traveling from there, traveling from there. And I have done this. Maria is the person that in charge for every opportunity calling distributions and contract logistics. Okay? Contract logistics in a very simple way is everything after cleared from the customs, usually customers do not take it first, they store it first, and then hey, give me these two pilots for my productions. So the eight, the rest pilots will be stored. And that guy over there is the Dewey. He's in charge especially for the freight and clearance. So I hope you will be like with my presentation today. And if there's anything come up to the surface, please raise up. Okay? Where did the new thing speak? About um, a bit about the president say about Indonesia. Okay? Because you know only Bali for sure. Yeah? Only Bali. I, I don't have the voice. Okay, oh. I skip it if there is no voice. It's okay, I skip it. This is what it's like Indonesia. When you have shipments to Indonesia, customers will be saying, I want to send cargo to Indonesia. But this is the islands we have, 70,000 islands. And to fly from here, Sumatra Islands, to get where the free pots and then BP there, it's called Iria. It will take you five to six hours. And it's all oceans. So it's complicated to get the shipments out or into Indonesia. So when your customers asking you, how can you help us? And this is to how to we RPX usually say to the customers, this is not the time that we are exposing ourselves. Hey, I have 40 agents. I have uh, many branches. No. The way why we do differently in Indonesia for the last four years is we do the partnership. Maybe you know the 7-Eleven, the Circle Key, the Keymark. In the old days, they only sell groceries. And now we come to them and say, hey, what about if your outlet can do pickup, delivery, and then cash on delivery? And they say, oh, okay, there's another revenue for us. And that's instantly to make we have a thousand locations in Indonesia. Something that in all schools, in all days, we will be saying we must own that facilities. But no, the way we do in this disruption stage, we go partnership. I repeat one more time. We go partnership for every outlet, for every small market, every small kiosk or everything. So that's what we do differently in Indonesia. So whenever you have a shipment to Indonesia, remember, Jack Ma just stopped by the Indonesia. Last event on the Asian Games, if you remember, and then just put a lot of hell money to those two e-commerce in Indonesia. What does it mean? It shows to us now Indonesia is handling two million packages per day for the e-commerce, and they already predicted in the next six years they will have twenty million packages per day, consumption by one hundred sixty millions of our people. That's the market we talked about. That's why we are here. Okay? 
to show you that in the last mile delivery and what we do, the next slide will be clearly for you to understand. Don't get too stressed. Okay? Now, um, whenever you stop by to Indonesia, we have just been a long time dealing with the express only air freight. Because we've been a long time, 34 years, become the official licensee for the Forpo. I will not mention the name because they don't pay me to get here. <laughs> but the game's changed now. So we do what we do in our own facilities. Okay? Now, this is the RPX as the whole thing. But this is not the slide that will stun you. The next slide that you can also help us to sell, that the RPX in Indonesia sell end-to-end -end solution as the next slide. Let me show you one more time. A bit things about what we do differently in Indonesia. This is the customers, you can mention manufacturers, e-commerce, everything. You know, in our old days, our sales just go to customers selling, hey, do you have the 3040 containers? Do you have this uh, air freight cargo? It's not happening again in our organization. We change. We follow the disruptions now. Uh, as you can see, I'm wearing a jeans you know, with the uh, <laughs> Three years back, I just put the suits like you. But 60% of our managers know millennials. And then he said, hey, Ikra, are you crazy? You dress up like that. <laughs> Cannot. So that's the way also we change now. If my sales, or you give us the sales lead, hey RPX, just go visit these customers in Indonesia. They will speak up about end-to-end -end solution. From the first mile, middle mile, and last mile delivery. That's where we have all to go in this case. I don't know if you agree or not, but this is the way we do now. So my sales in the field, we talk about how to deal with the suppliers. We just do not come and offer, hey, do you have the 40, uh, uh, 50 containers coming to Indonesia or go out? No, because we will beat by the price. Because that's what we sell commodity that we cannot allow. We have to sell, just an idea for all of you, the way we do now. The value adding the end to end solution. And if you see, this is from, I mentioned every time, whenever you give us the sales lead, my sales lead will be locked into this customer's perception. They will start talking about how the cargo domestically, in, we call it the first in, do, out. So these simple basic things. It's really making a lot of Jeff, uh, revenue generation. In, do, out. So we talk about these days, people talk first mile, middle mile, last mile. So if you see a lot of things that now, as the customers, I don't know if you already have faced it in your sales group, they never ask how many trucks you have now, how many warehouse you have now, how many facilities do you run now? No. Am I right? They only ask you when this cargo delivered. They will not ask you how do you how 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 do you how will you do it? They will not ask you. So that's the importance in these days, just to give the great idea for the whole group. Talking end-to-end -end solutions. Yes, technology plays in this part role. I will have a one-on-one -on -one with some of you. The way how we cop this opportunity is using the platform. And RPX, at these days, one of the heaviest bidder, we have 70 people only to develop our IT system. 70. So we will get from the, from the first mile, we will come to your customers and, and hey, what about your PO is integrated in our system? So the PO and everything will be handled by you as the origin country, come to Indonesia, contract logistic if they need. Now we can, because now we have like 60,000 pallet positions to run. 
and everything. And then after the production is finished, customers need to sell the product, right? Customers need to sell either domestically or going back export. So this is an idea how to sell end-to-end -end in the RPA. So um, next slide, we'll be telling you um, a bit knowledge about how we see the road now in RPX, especially in Indonesia, in terms of developing the distribution center. Okay, we will be having our new location in Subang. Subang is a West Jakarta, uh, Jakarta uh, West Java, 60 hectares. Why we do it? Because we see a lot of Tanjung Priok seaport is one of the biggest seaport in Indonesia. <coughs> Okay, we have Surabaya Seaport, we have Tanjung Priok in Jakarta, if you are familiar with that. We have and also in Medan, in Blawan, we have also in Surabaya. Connected as it is. Okay, then we will build this based on upcoming projects. We are having some contract with this uh, contract logistics. And this is kind of the, share to you how the design will be. We have the design models of our new facilities. And the part of that, we also entertain the e-commerce things. Remember, doing the last mile delivery, like the speakers just mentioned, is a game change. It's a volume game. You cannot do everything on your own things. The sharing economy, the partnership things, is the best key for you to success. So that's only the sharing for us. And then this is the facilities. And if you mention this, this is what we do now. We do the end to end to them. Yeah, you will also see the big names there. And then it's only to give you some highlights that you cannot just sell now to customers, particular only one product. You just cannot sell or let your sales or let your people just talk about the freight forwarding things. It doesn't work because we don't have luxuries dealing with the trucking. We don't have luxuries dealing with the airline, right? The shipping lines. If they hit you, Apple, to Apple, then you're gonna lose the opportunity. Yeah. Again, in your guess, I'm very sorry. I have a very nice uh, tips today, just to end up my presentation. We bring this like 